you import a new Clip Studio workspace. Uh, we're going to be working on one from the cloud today, uh, but if you go to Clip Studio Assets and download a workspace, uh, it'll end up in this folder. But we're going to go to the cloud um, and we're going to get Possum Workspace. This is a workspace I've already created. We're going to download this. You'll see it's download progress up in the top right in your download bar. But once that has downloaded, we will see it inside our materials folder here. Um, it's currently living under the tools folder in materials. Um, we will have to remember that for a second. So we're going to return to, to Clip Studio Paint. If we go Window, Material, and Download, this opens up our little material window. Now remember, it's inside the Tools folder now. So we're going to go in there and we see Possum Workspace. In order to import this, we're just going to drag it over here. Um, you can untick the shortcut settings and command bar layout if you'd like. But I'm going to import all of these additional settings. Uh, it'll take a second and boom. The workspace has changed. And we can see uh, the layout here has got the downloads here. And we've got layer properties and layer settings. If I were to create a new file, we would see that we've got our layers here. And we can hide them quite easily. We've got um, our brush sizes, our little color wheel. We can still modify this workspace if we want. If at any point we've changed the workspace too much and we don't like it, we can go Window, Workspace, and we can reload the workspace. And that will just reset everything how it was. Pretty neat.